Hey guys, it's Andy, aka LG, and I'm here today back again with my Make a Mega series. It's been four months since the previous episode that featured Ladian and Ariados. I like to, when I can, or when the opportunity presents itself, to include two Pokemon per episode, two Pokemon that kind of have a similar theme like Ladian and Ariados were two underwhelming, for lack of a better word, bug type Pokemon from Johto. So I, I thought they would make a good episode together. But as powerful as the Ladian and Ariados combination is, it is no match for today's episode. I'm sure you read the title and saw the thumbnail so you know what you're in for, but today I'm going to be featuring the two rivals since Gen 1, the ultimate forms of Electabuzz and Magmar, the Gen 4 Juggernaut, Electivire, and Magmortar. These two are such an epic combination of Pokemon. This is one of my favorite Pokemon duos of all time. When Magmar and Electabuzz got their new forms back in Gen 4, it was so amazing. And I can't think of a better way to honor these Pokemon and make them even greater than by giving them Mega Evolutions. So, that is what I'm going to be doing today. So, let's just get started with Electivire. Electivire is the one of the two of them that I was initially more of a fan of. It was also much more viable competitively. This was of course back in Gen 4 when Garavire was a strategy, and if you weren't around back in Gen 4, competitively or casually, then you're not going to understand this part, because Electivire was actually a very solid OU Pokemon back in the day. But like I said, if you weren't around back then, you would never know that, because Electivire's greatness can't even really be replicated under the current conditions of the way the game is played. Part of the reason why Electivire was so good, aside from its phenomenal move pool and great attack stat, was because it comboed well with Pokemon like Gyarados that baited in electric attacks, and because Gen 4 had no team preview, you could switch your Gyarados into Electivire, who then absorbs the electric attack and gets a motor drive boost, which buffs its mediocre speed, making it an all-around incredibly threatening Pokemon. The addition of Team Preview and just Power Creep in general have done Electivire no favors, but nobody can deny Electivire's history of greatness, and I vow to return Electivire to that state of greatness by giving it this Mega Evolution. So Electivire is a pure electric type with 75 HP, 123 attack, 67 defense, 95 special attack and speed with 85 special defense, and its ability Motor Drive allows it to absorb electric attacks, it's immune to them while also giving it a speed boost, and like I said, this buff gives it a way to naturally boost its mediocre speed stat. 95 isn't too terrible, but in most situations you're just going to be outsped and O-code by whatever it is. And even 123 attack isn't as explosive as it used to be, so chances are you're going to struggle KOing something and then just get revenge killed in return. Another problem for Electivire is actually its move options. It has phenomenal coverage options like Earthquake, Cross Chop, Fire Punch, and the ever-coveted Ice Punch, but it faces the same problem that all physical electric type non-legendary Pokemon get, and that is that physical electric attacks in general aren't very good. Things like Bolt Strike and Plasma Fist are phenomenal, but they're exclusive to mythical Pokemon. Wild Charge is the strongest standard electric attack, but it has the atrocious drawback of dealing recoil damage. The next best option is usually Thunder Punch, which has no drawbacks, but the base power is so much lower and it's just not a good position for electric type physical attackers. And these are the main points I wanted to focus on when building this Mega, and while I do think it would be cool and epic to give Magmortar and Electivire previously mythical exclusive moves like Plasma Fist or Bolt Strike, Blue Flare, stuff like that. I made it a point in my Mega Mega series that I'm not going to try to give Pokemon new moves because that's not really anything to do with giving a Pokemon a Mega Evolution. Though Game Freak has listened to my suggestions in the past that they should give moves like Calm Mind and Nasty Plot to Noctowl, so maybe they can listen again for something like this, that'd be kinda cool. But with all that being said, this is what I came up with as an idea of what to do to give Electivire a Mega Evolution that would benefit it. I'd start by giving Electivire 30 speed, putting it at 125. 
I think by now the core standard for an electric type Pokemon is that they generally have high speed, and while 125 still isn't the insane level of things like Zeraora or even Jolteon, it's still plenty of speed, definitely better than the 95 that it had originally. After that, I'd give it 40 additional attack, putting it at 163 and capitalizing on its strongest stat. And finally, for the remaining 30 points, I just dropped 10 into Special Defense, 10 into Defense, and 10 into Special Attack. I do like the idea of Mixed, Electivire, and Magmortar, so I opted to put a few points into their less optimized attacking stats. So Electivire's Special Attack and Special Defense stats are decent. Its defense is still at a pretty pathetic 77, but it might help him live a hit or two, you never know. As for the ability, I actually had a few in mind. The first was an ability that I made up for Mega Jolteon back in 2018. Uh, this ability, I didn't have a name for it, I just called it Aim for the Horn. Uh, what it did was allowed electric type attacks to hit uh, ground type Pokemon while giving them a slight power boost. I think 1.1 times damage is sufficient. And I felt like this is a good ability, but not specifically for Mega Electivire, because Electivire's biggest problem is that its strongest, no drawback, electric type attack is Thunder Punch. And I wanted an ability that would really boost the power of Thunder Punch to put it on par with things like Wild Charge and Plasma Fist. Iron Fist came to mind. That boosts not only Thunder Punch, but its two great coverage options in Fire and Ice Punch. And I almost went with this as Mega Electivire's ability, but had a last minute change of heart and wanted adaptability. This boosts not only Thunder Punch, but if it wants to run mixed or even special, it could boost those type of attacks as well. Not to mention, if you do want to run Wild Charge and risk damaging yourself with Recool, you'll at least be compensated by a much stronger version of Wild Charge thanks to the power boost from Adaptability, so it almost makes it worth the recoil you would be taking. I do feel Adaptability is the best ability for Mega Electivire, and I do feel like this Mega Electivire is a good Mega. I forgot to mention this earlier, but Electivire also has another ability in Vital Spirit, which definitely is more consistently reliable than Motor Drive. However, for Mega Electivire, I think it would be beneficial to give Electivire Pre-Mega the ability Motor Drive. That way you have the option to switch into an electric attack in order to give Electivire that plus one speed boost, and then have it Mega Evolve. For a set you could run, you really can't go wrong with Old Reliable, Thunder Punch, Ice Punch, Earthquake. For a final move, you could really run anything. Like I said, Electivire's move pool is so massive. It can take advantage of so many things. You could run Volt Switch as a way to get on out of there. You could run Cross Chop for fighting coverage, Quick Attack, Toxic, Thunder Wave, Power Up Punch, Taunt, Fire Punch, Wild Charge. You could even run a fully special set if you wanted, but with an attack stat like that, it's hard to deny a physical set. So that's what I'm going to do to conclude my Mega Electivire. So let's switch it up and go over to Mega Magmortar. Magmortar is my current favorite of the two of these Pokemon. It was one of the first Pokemon I ever EV trained back in Pokemon Platinum. I used it competitively in a draft league uh, not too long ago and it did very well for me. Overall, I'm just very impressed with Magmortar as a Pokemon, and it's actually my current number one favorite Fire-type Pokemon, so I am so excited to give this thing a Mega. So as it stands, Magmortar has 75 HP, 95 Attack, 67 Defense, 125 Special Attack, 95 Special Defense, and 83 Speed. It boasts impressive mixed offensive stats, specializing in Special Attack, However, unlike Electivire, Magmortar has a cripplingly minimal speed stat. 83 is dangerously low for an offensive Pokemon, especially one with such low physical defense. The sad reality is in most cases, Electivire is just going to be outsped in O-Code before it can even get off an attack. And again, unlike Electivire, it has no ability that gives it an option to boost its speed. Its two abilities are Flame Body and Vital Spirit. Vital Spirit being the overall more consistent ability, while Flame Body gives the option to burn occasionally, though likely at the cost of your Magmortar because like I said with that base 67 physical defense stat, you're not going to be living very many hits. 
Despite all these issues though, I do think Magmortar is a good Pokemon and it is my hope today to make a great Mega Magmortar and in order to do that I opted to give Mega Magmortar the same statistical increases that I gave to Electivire, that being 40 points to Special Attack putting it at 165, 30 to Speed moving it to 113, and 10 more points to Attack, Defense, and Special Defense. I wanted to retain the original theme of Electabuzz having slightly higher speed than Magmar, so I kept their statistical increases the same values. Admittingly, Magmortar as a standalone Mega could have been more optimized, but I really like this in combination with Mega Electivire. 113 speed allows Magmortar to outspeed the base 110s, which is a significant benchmark. Its overall bulk is still relatively low, but definitely superior to what it was, and that special attack stat is nothing to laugh at. For an ability, I actually thought about also giving Mega Magmortar adaptability, but it really didn't feel as necessary or as impactful as it did for Mega Electivire, so I came up with another new ability for Mega Magmortar. The name of the ability would be Scorcher, and the effect would be that any fire type attack that Magmortar uses has a 100% chance to burn the target. This is reminiscent of its original ability Flame Body, but instead of making it a more passive, reactive ability, this is more proactive, more offensive, and is just overall a much better fit for Mega Magmortar in my opinion. With this in mind, Mega Magmortar is going to be optimized for firing off strong special attacks. Anything that survives is going to be burnt, and targets that can't be burned like fire types for example aren't going to appreciate Magmortar's coverage in Earthquake. So a good move set I could see Mega Magmortar running would be Flamethrower obviously, could also run Fire Blast or Overheat. Any fire type attack you do is going to burn the opponent. It's also got a very strong Thunderbolt, as well as a plethora of other random options, but I think those two are necessary. For physical coverage, you could run Cross Chop as a way to hit bulky normal types like Chansey or Blissey that want to come in on you. Also the aforementioned Earthquake to hit fire types. Another neat tech option you could run would be Flame Charge because you would not only boost your speed afterwards, making you an even bigger threat, but you'd also burn your opponent because it's a fire type attack. Overall, Magmortar has a lot of tools at its arsenal, just like Electivire. However, with these stats, I feel it can utilize these tools much better than it previously could. So, that is going to be my design for Mega Magmortar, and that is going to conclude the video. I hope you enjoyed my ideas for giving these two rival Pokemon Megas. If you disagreed with anything I said in this video, be sure to let me know how you feel. If you made it all the way through this video, I'm going to assume your stance on Mega Evolution is that it should come back and that you're a fan of my Mega Mega series. If you have any constructive criticism about the series, I would appreciate that feedback in the comments as well. If you are a fan, I do apologize at how infrequently this series is produced. My inspiration to make it kind of comes and goes at times, but I do plan to continue this series until they decide to bring back Mega Evolutions, and possibly even after that. We'll see. But that is going to conclude the video for today. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to have a good day guys, and I'll see you next time.